Assalamu alaikum. My dear students, hope you are fine by the grace of Almighty Allah. Welcome to NIBS Home School. This is Muhammad Indadul Haq, Assistant Teacher of Mathematics, National Ideal English Version School, Day Shift. Dear students, today I am here to conduct a math class of class 4. Our today's topic is fraction part 3. This is our 6th lecture and our homework is 5. Dear students, you can open your book to read the today's topic or you can open book at page 101. In this page from activity 2, today I will solve some problems that are addition. It means that today we will learn addition of fraction. Today we will learn addition of fraction. I will show you some addition at first, then I have given you some problems for your homework. Let us start our today's topic. Okay, dear students, here activity 2, question 6, I have written here, 7 written, 8 and 9, these 4 questions written. I will solve these 4 questions at first and then I have given your homework. I will show that. Okay. Dear students, the rules for addition, the rules for addition, you know, two rules is discussed, two rules is discussed in your book. I will show both the methods at first, then I will follow just only one. Okay. Dear students, first one is, suppose I am writing a fraction 1 by 5 plus another fraction 3 by 10. To do addition, at first we have to do the LCM of the denominators, here denominators are 5 and 10. So do the LCM of 5 and 10. What, what is the LCM of 5 and 10? The students, you can do the LCM in short method. Take 5 here, if you divide 5 by 5, you will get 1 and you will get 2 here. If you divide 5, 10 by 5, you will get 2. So, LCM will be product of 5, 1 and 2. This will be 10. So, LCM of 5 and 10 will be 10. So, you will give one line and write the denominator. The denominator will, will be the LCM of the denominators. The denominator will be the LCM of the denominators. Now, you have to divide the LCM by each denominator. At first, you have to divide by the denominator of first fraction. If you divide, then you will get to here. Then you have to multiply the numerator by the quotient. Then you have to multiply the denominator by the quotient. Then give addition sign. Then divide the LCM by the second denominator, you will get 1 here. Now multiply the numerator of second fraction by this quotient. Now product of 1 and 2 is 2, product of 3 and 1 is 3. And here is 10, so you can write this 5 by 10. If we add 20, we will get 5. Now we can take this fraction into lowest term, we can divide both by 5. So, we can write here 1 by 2, 1 by 2. The students, this is one method. Now, I will show another method for addition. You can see here, I am showing this problem using another method. The students, you know the equivalent fraction or you know the common denominator, you can say any one and in this case, you have to remember that you can do the addition and subtraction of fraction if you convert all the fractions into common denominator. So, do that, at first you have to do the LCM of denominators that will be 10, then divide the LCM by first denominator, you will get 2 here. So, multiply both numerator and denominator by 2. Here, 
1 multiply by 2, 5 multiply by 2. Then this one also you can convert into common denominator. Here the LCM is 10. So divide 10 by 10, you will get 1. So you have to multiply both the numerators and denominator by 1. Now product is 2 here, here 10 and this is 3, this is 10. Now as the denominators are same, as the denominators are same, then write just only one denominator, write just only one denominator and then just add the numerator, just add the numerators. You will get 2 and 3 is 5, 10. It means that we can convert this into lowest term, this will be 1 by 2. The students, I have shown two methods here for addition of fraction. You can apply any one, you can do or you can solve the problems using any method, but I will follow the first one which I have done at first and remember that after this class when you will go to the upper class, in most of the case you will see this method. So I am solving the problems using the first method that I have discussed at first. <coughs> Dear students, our first question is 5 by 6 plus 1 by 10. We have to find the sum of these two fractions. To find the sum, I have shown you the rules. At first, you have to do the LCM of 6 and 10. If you want, you can show the rough here. LCM of 6 and 10. Take 2. This is 3 and this is 5. Now we can divide, so product of 2, 3 and 5 will be the LCM, product of 2, 3 and 5 will be the LCM. Now what will be the LCM here? LCM is 2, 3, there 6, 6 types are 30, so LCM is 30, so we will write the LCM here, 30. Now divide this 30 by 6, first denominator by first denominator. If you divide 30 by 6, you will get 5. So multiply 5 by the quotient 5. Now divide 30 by 10, you will get 3. Multiply 1 by that quotient 3. Now product of 5 and 5 is 5 5s are 25 and here is 3 1s are 3. 30 here. Now we have to add 25 and 3. 5 and 3 is 8. Here is 2. 28 by 30. And both the numbers are even. So we can take this fraction into a smallest term. We can divide 14 by 2. This will uh, divide 28 by 2. You will get 14. And divide 30 by 2. You will get 15. Now we can't divide. Now we can't divide. It means that this is the smallest form or lowest term. So our required answer is 14 by 15. Dear students, I have done the first one. In the same process, I will solve all the questions. So observe this here, the LCM of 3 and 15. What is the LCM of 3 and 15? Take 3, this will be 1 and 5. So, product of LCM is product of 3, 1 and 5, that is 15. So, take 15 here, divide 15 by 3, you will get 5. Now, multiply 2 by 5 and then add. 15 by 15 means 1. So, multiply 2 by 1. You will get here 15 and 2 5 are 10 plus 2 ones are 2, it means 12, 12 by 15. Again we can take the fraction into smallest term as both the numerators and denominators are divisible by 3. So if we divide 15 by 3 we will get 5, if we divide 12 by 3 we will get 4. So our required answer for this question is 4 by 5, 4 by 5. Now go to the next question. What is the next question here? Next question is 1 by 6 plus 2 by 15. At first do the LCM of 6 and 15. 
What is the LCM here? At first we can take 3, 2 and 5. <coughs> so LCM is 3, 2, 5. So this will be 5 to sir 10, 10 3 sir 30. So LCM is 30. So we can take the LCM 30. Now divide 30 by 6, you will get 5, multiply 1 by 5. Then give the addition sign. Now write 2 and divide 30 by 15, you will get 2. So multiply by 2. This will be 30 and here is 5 plus 2 to the 4. So we can write here 9, 30. Again we can convert this into smallest term. We can divide both by 3. If we divide 9 by 3, we will get 3. And if we divide 30 by 3, we will get 10. So our required answer for this question is 3 by 10. Now go to the last question. This is our last question today. <coughs> the students here, our denominators are 15 and 5. Do the LCM, take 5 here, 3 will be here, 1 will be here. So LCM is 5, 3, 1, this will be 15. As the denominator is 15, now we can divide, we can write here 15, then divide 15 by 15, you will get 1, so multiply 4 by 1. Now divide 15 by 5, you will get 3. Now multiply the numerator by the quotient 3, you will get that. Now write 15 here, 4 ones are 4 and 3 twos are 6, that is 10 by 15. In this case also, both the numerators and denominators are divisible by 5, so we can divide by 5. If we divide by 5, we will get 2 here and 3 here. This is our required answer for the last question, 2 by 3. Dear students, I have finished today's lecture. I think you have understood our today's lecture and I have given you four problems to do as your homework in your assigned homework copy. Do this, I have given your homework from page 101, activity 2. Question 1, 3, 5 and 10. The students submit your homework every Sunday on the school library and on that day collect your previous HW. HW is very very important for you as your city marks, diary marks and SBA marks will be given based on the performance of your homework. Keep practicing at home, abide by your parents, stay home, stay safe, see you again inshallah. Salaam alaikum.